In this example, we are approaching an intersection that has a flashing red light, and we are going to turn right on this intersection. A flashing red light means you must come to a complete stop before the stop line. If stop line is not visible, then you stop before the crosswalk, and if, cro if there is no crosswalk, then you stop before the sidewalk. If there is no sidewalk, you can stop before the edge of the intersection. Make sure you come to a complete stop, not a rolling stop. On this intersection, we are turning right and we are facing a flashing red light. But the other traffic has a flashing yellow light. So if you check on this side here, this traffic light is a flashing amber light. Um, that means this traffic does not stop. After doing a complete stop, we can slowly go forward to check vehicles and pedestrians. If there are no vehicles and pedestrians, we can complete our turn. In this example, we have a flashing amber light and we are turning left on this intersection. Other traffic has a flashing red light. So on this side here, this traffic has a flashing red light. So that means it's like a stop sign for them. Flashing, when you have a flashing amber light, you have to yield the right of way to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. Right now we see this car approaching. So we have to wait for this car, let them go first. After that, we check pedestrians on the crosswalk. If there are no pedestrians, then we can complete our left turn. In this example, we are approaching an intersection with a flashing green light and we are turning left. When you have a flashing green light, you can turn left, go straight or turn right. Oncoming traffic will be facing a red light. If you're turning left or if you're turning right, you still have to yield the right of way to pedestrians in the intersection. On this intersection, we are turning left and we have a separate traffic light for left turns. On this intersection, there are two turning lanes and we are turning left from the outer turning lane. As you can see, we have a separate signal for the left turns. So we see a green, solid green arrow here. Same thing on this signal. Now this traffic light here, that's for the traffic going straight or turning right. Right now, we have a green arrow and oncoming traffic is facing a red light. When you have a separate traffic light for the left turns and if you have a solid green arrow or a flashing green arrow, that time pedestrian should not be crossing. You still want to be cautious, but pedestrians should not be crossing that time. At some point, this green arrow will change into an amber arrow or an amber light. When you see an amber arrow or amber light, if you are already in the intersection, you can proceed and complete your turn. But if you're still behind the stop line, then you have to stop if it's safe to do so. A blank traffic light means traffic light is not working. When you see a blank traffic light, treat that as a all-way stop sign, unless you see an officer directing traffic. If you see an officer directing traffic, you must obey his directions. In this example, we see traffic lights are not working and there is an officer directing traffic, so we have to follow his directions. Now we are approaching an intersection that has a flashing red beacon with a four-way stop sign. A flashing red beacon means you must come to a complete stop and proceed when it's safe to do so. Now we have um, another example of a red beacon with an intersection and a three-way stop sign. So same rules apply here. Red beacon means you must come to a complete stop and then proceed when it's safe to do so.